na tukiachana nayo tunarudilea taarifa yetu ya mwanzo kabisa kwa baada ya tihati na ujio wa wakili ni kwamba kesi ya ofisadi inayomhusu naibu jaji mkuu Filomena Mwilu ishaanza sasa hivi na inaendelea uh, kusikizwa na ni vya matonde moja kwa moja tuweze kusikiza kinachoendelea mahakamani and in that notice it is quite clear that the director of public <coughs> prosecutions has made an appointment for professor kawar kureshi to be a special prosecutor in the CMC anti-corruption case number 38 of 2018, which is not this case, and in the High Court petition 295 of 2018, and on all matters of incidental there too. The question we ask, can the Director of Public Prosecution do that under Section 85 of the Criminal Procedure Code? And uh, this section has been amended since the Office of the Attorney General and that of the <coughs> Director of Public Prosecution was separated. And under the title to that part of the criminal procedure court is important and it reads appointment of public prosecutors and conduct of prosecution those are the title of the uh, two sections 85 86 88 and it states the Director of Public Prosecution by notice in the Gazette may appoint... May please you, my lady. I think it's important that we may know that a preliminary objection is being raised and on what matter so that we know whether we're in the right forum. So it yes, on, 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 on account, I made that PO point very clear at the beginning. Yes. yes, so that we know the nature of the PO and whether this is the right forum. So may he make it on record that he's making a PO and on what issues? No, I'm, 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 I'm reacting to your comments. You, you supplied us with, with the papers. You're, you're trying to justify why the good professor should appear <coughs> and lead the team for the director of public prosecution. Uh, and we have been given a copy of this, uh, these papers. Uh, yes, I'm uh, allowed. Mr. Rang, perhaps just so that they are clear on what uh, you are driving at. Is it uh, his appearance per se, or his appearance in relation to the notice that only seems to refer to specific... Uh, his appearance in this proceeding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you were before the subordinate court, mm -hmm. then I have no problems. So all I'm saying, the instrumentality for his appearance before your lordships and the lady is this gazette notice. And I'm saying that those powers <coughs> cannot be exercised by the Director of Public Prosecutions to include uh, this particular petition. <coughs> so to the extent that this Gazette notice refers to this petition. It is a nullity because it is purporting to exercise powers that are not granted to the Director of Public Prosecution. Na mbado kesiyo inasikilizwa na mwanahabari wetu yuko pale ndani atakuwa anafuatilia kwa karibu na atakuwa anarudi kwako baada ya muda mrefu